the challenges of redecking are um, all of our customers, well, many of our customers say, why can't I just take off the top? The deck under the structure underneath is perfectly fine. While one may think that once you, once you take off the top boards, you see that, oh, water has intruded into the joist. Water has gotten into different places. And when you remove all those deck boards, you leave holes, you leave, you know, a lot of uh, issues in pulling it out of there because you have it's typically uh, screws that are, you know, rusted and, and they break off when you pull the top off. So the inte integrity of the substructure is in question. We won't warrant a deck when we redeck it. We can't rewarrant it because we can't ensure that the underdeck is, the understructure is gonna support the new product that we put on top of it. We didn't, A, we didn't install it. B, it's been there for 10, 20 years, however long. C, there, there has to be some damage underneath there. Another challenge of redecking is we always have to come back typically with a change order because there are typically beams that need to be replaced. And if, and if a joist or a, a ledger or anything needs to be replaced, it's an extra cost. And it, and it takes a lot more cost to take it out and put it back in than it did to do the first time. So that's also a challenge of redecking is that there's typically a change order for what we find when we unearth it. Not saying we've never redecked one. We've redecked some before that were a, maybe a three-year-old wood deck. And those are a lot easier to back out the screws, pull off the boards and put the other stuff down. But uh, it comes when there's some age to it and it's really hard to, uh, really hard to demo just that top layer without doing any damage and uh, coming back. So when you redeck them, the, the, it isn't necessarily, you will save some cost, I think, Ultimately, you'll save some cost. It depends how much you mess around with, with it after you rip it all off there and how much you have to repair and how many joists you have to put back in, how much uh, rot you find against the house. I mean, there's just a litany of different, who knows what's gonna happen when you pull that top off there because you don't know really what's underneath there until you pull it off. So the cost could be cheaper if it was perfectly fine and it was e easy to come off, which, almost never happens. If you do that, then uh, going back with it's not the cheap, not the expensive part. Uh, the expensive part is in, it's almost cheaper to, to tear down and build a whole new one and, 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 and uh, ensure that you're structurally sound than it is to use the old one. The biggest stickler is that you're not getting any warranty and you're getting 20 year old boards holding up a brand new surface of your deck. That's the big sticker. And while we'll do it, it's, it's not something we recommend.